So it looks like Molly Mae and Tommy have been banned from a Love Island Ibiza trip because the other islanders do not want anybody fake to come. It's a whole new day and again we've got some fresh new Love Island beef. This is ridiculous. Morning guys, let's get into this. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, what are you doing with your lives? Deep it. Let's just deep it for a quick second. So click that button please and definitely subscribe to my channel for daily and consistent content and follow me on my Instagram at Murad underscore Morali obviously because I'm also providing you content over there as well. Wow, okay, so let's get into this because this is a whole new fresh story that is hitting all the articles, hitting all the social media services this morning where we have Tommy and Molly May who have been allegedly banned from Love Island trips or this particular trip because the other islanders did not want any fake individuals to come. So this I find to be very interesting and I don't know if I want to take it you know, with face value but everybody's talking about it so I assume it's true. Molly May Haig and Tommy Fury were banned from a VIP holiday to Ibiza by their fellow Love Island stars after they branded them fake. A social media influencer and a boxer boyfriend finished second on the show, but it turns out they weren't so popular inside the villa. In fact, Molly May and Tommy, as well as Curtis's ex, Amy Hart, so not just those two, Amy as well, have irritated some of the cast so much that they were banned from the trip abroad to celebrate Danny Williams' birthday. A source told The Sun, some of the I Love Island stars got a free trip to Ibiza from a clothing brand and so were able to take people with them. They decided they wanted to treat their Love Island mates, but they all agreed they didn't want to invite anybody they did not like, such as the fake people. A few of them were very vocal about how they, were, how they think Tommy and Molly May are fake. They said all they did was sleep all day in the villa and nothing else. Everyone agreed they, Tommy, Molly and Amy were banned from the trip and weren't to be invited. Tommy Molly May were obviously pipped to Berm to post the, you know, win the show, but obviously fan favorite Amber took the title. This is interesting. The couple missed out on the trip to Ibiza for Danny's 22nd birthday last trip last week. You know what? I don't really blame them because I don't think anybody's lining up to go to there to celebrate his birthday. He's been out there celebrating with his new girlfriend Jordan Rian and his pals from the villa, including Lucy, Jordan, Joe, Tom Walker, Chris Taylor, who's oh yeah, Chris, Bell, and Joanna. Sound like a dead group to me, but it is what it is. Um, a dead group indeed. They all let their hair down as they celebrated his birthday in style with huge bottles of vodka shots and practicing the salmon in the pool. Back home, Molly May has been opening up about the death that she's been going through and the fact that she, the name Money May was coined um, for all the fake stuff that she was allegedly doing in the villa. So this I do find to be quite interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, if Anton and Bell were definitely like, we don't want them to here. I wouldn't be surprised. This is what I mean. I told you yesterday that this is not only the beginning, but these certain types of beefs, Molly May only hit back yesterday in her magazine article. So it kind of makes sense now that if Anton and Bell are on this trip, or Bell especially, they would be very vocal about not wanting Tommy and Molly May to be coming on the trip because they think they're fake and so forth. I kind of understand where that comes from. In terms of Amy, I don't know why people branded her fake. This is why I'm taking this with face value, and I'm not really sure if this is actually genuinely real. However, it's a new fresh article a lot of articles are talking about it. The Sun, I do feel like we should take as a very legit source simply because a lot of these islanders do go to the Sun to do their interviews and to talk about it and they're able to, the Sun is able to quote the islanders because they do interviews with them ASAP straight off the boat. So I feel like we should take them as a um, a credible source however at the same time I do have my suspicions with this story why were they banned you know was it just because they're fake because I feel like perhaps people are just it's easy to put the fake kind of narrative with Molly May and Tommy now and perhaps something else but we do have people on this trip who are right now currently if you want to say beef and Tommy and Molly May they're throwing shade at each other all the time so I wouldn't be surprised if they don't want to really spend the time with them but really and truly ain't nobody trying to go to Danny Williams birthday and celebrate everyone it sounds a bit dead anyway the group doesn't sound that live to be honest with you you know there's no Anna there's no Amber there's no you one day so really and truly what are we here for what are we here for I, I don't understand so I'm not really you know elated by this news about the fact that there's a exclusive amazing islander party really and truly it just sounds like a dead party to me but i do wonder why amy was kept a band from banned from this villa as well why was she banned from that whole situation i really don't know it doesn't really make any sense which is why i'm second guessing a lot of this information we should take with face value i don't know if it's 100 percent credible by the same time since everybody's talking about it right now i thought i would try and get out to you guys so that we can start a discussion talk about it down below in the comment box let me know what your opinions are 
Do not be a waste man, subscribe to my channel, click that button, click that button. It's just one click and follow me on my Instagram, Murad and it's called Murali. And don't forget to hit, a no hit the notifications bell so you know when I come at you with another video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys soon for another update.